Hey folks, how are you doing? Uh, so today I thought I might as well go on to the topic that is Tyson Fury, all about the controversy that's going on, should he be in sports personality, some of the comments he's made, are they appropriate? Um, so I want to start this video with a disclaimer, okay? This is an opinion piece, it should be fairly obvious, I'm going to give my opinion on Tyson Fury, on the comments he said, on whether he should be on sports personality, okay? If you don't like me giving my opinion, then don't watch the video. It's as simple as that, okay? If you're gonna go get him butt hurt because I've given my opinion, bugger off. Um, right, moving on. So should Tyson Fury be on sports personality? Honestly, no. He should not be on sports personality. He's one of those great examples of someone that is amazing at his sport, but a terrible, terrible human being. Um, like, it's, it's just as simple as that. Like. So I've got as much information on this as possible. I've really tried to get a, a whole picture of what's gone on, what's been said, the case for and against. So look, a long, long story short, he said a lot of offensive comments, um, a lot of derogatory comments, and yet he's still on the BBC shortlist for Sports Personality of the Year, um, which is meant to be a highlight. It's meant to be a representation of the best that the world of sport has to offer, okay? The key is in the title, Sports Personality. It's not... The BBC Best Sports Person Award, it's the best sports personality. So it's somebody that represents the intrinsic values of equality, diversity, achievement, persistence, the, the things that we like to see in sport, the things that make us feel good as a civilization and as a people, the things that unite us. And that is what we're talking about. Someone that has a unique personality that they bring to it that encourages those values. Um, and Tyson Fury doesn't encourage those values. And that is fundamentally why he shouldn't be on the sports personality list. Um, so let's just go into this a bit. Like, I've got to say for one thing, uh, my political opinions are fairly left-wing, fairly liberal. Um, but with that said, there's a lot of social justice warriorship going on at the minute where super liberal people are jumping on this bandwagon and sort of, they, get, they have extremely unrealistic expectations of the guy. Like, look, okay, He's an Irish traveller that makes his living punching people in the face, okay? He's not going to be a Shakespearean wit, you know? He's not going to be quoting Shakespeare. He's not going to be making beautiful speeches, okay? He's not going to be watching... I don't, I don't know. He's not going to be watching documentaries on stuff. He's not going to be reading articles or essays on feminism and on gender equality. He's not going to be doing this kind of stuff. Like, let's be honest, guys, okay? He makes his living hitting people in the face. He's not going to be a genius. So, you know... I'm not going to say cut the guy some slack, and I'm not apologising for him, but don't go expecting him to be busting out third wave, fe third wave feminism on you. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Look, I, I think the man's achieved a lot, and that, it has to be said, you know, 25 fights, 18, 18 wins by knockout, if I remember correctly. Uh, undefeated as well. So, like, it's, he's, got a, he's got a great record. He's taken the heavyweight title by beating Klitschko. He's had a really successful boxing career, and as a boxer, he's done immensely well. You, you cannot argue with that, um, and you cannot discredit his ability as a boxer because of what he said. However, should he be on sports personality? Absolutely not. He doesn't represent those values, and he said some immensely offensive things that I personally really disagree with, and I'm sure a lot of other people within the world of sport disagree with, especially when there are so many other great sports people going unmentioned and unnamed. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on that as well that should really be getting recognition. Um, so just to clarify, some of the comments that he made, he's called fellow boxers gay lovers, he thinks performance enhancing drugs should be legal, he thinks homosexuality should be illegal, he is anti-abortion, and he made sexist comments about Jessica Ennisil, which if you know some of my sporting heroes, you know that she's one of them, so that's, ex you know, it's just, it's really a low blow, and he thinks that the best place for a woman is on her back. Yeah, so he's made some really, really inappropriate comments. He's made some really offensive comments, and I can only I can, I can condemn the comments. But look, ultimately, he shouldn't be on sports personality. Enough, enough should be said. The BBC have made a terrible decision by including him on that list. Um, I don't think he's going to get anywhere near the amount of votes needed to win that, especially against the tough lineup this year. But still, he shouldn't be included. Um, again, I'll, I'll reiterate back to the point right at the start of this. He's one of those classic examples of someone that's great at his career, great at his sport, but he's just a bad person. Um, there's, there's, there's not much more than could be said than that. Um, right, this is the end of this video. What are your comments, okay? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you pissed off at me right now? Um, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. And if you want to have some more opinion pieces, see some more about strength training, uh, maybe sports in general, hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys later.